HDPE pipe features a convenient bell and spigot connection utilizing a rubber external gasket on the spigot end of the pipe. It is very important to join the pipe properly to maintain the high level of performance that the pipe is designed to provide. First, the pipe should be lowered into the trench, either by hand or by nylon sling for larger diameters. Two workers should be able to handle 18-inch or smaller pipe. 24-inch and 30-inch pipe can be lifted with a single nylon strap. 36-inch and larger pipes should be lifted with two nylon straps attached 10 feet apart to provide additional stability and support. Once the pipe is positioned in the trench, the bell of the receiving pipe should be cleaned to remove all foreign matter. Next, clean the spigot end of the connecting pipe and remove the protective wrap covering the gasket. Using a clean rag or brush, apply a suitable gasket lubricant to the bell on the receiving pipe and to the gasket on the spigot end of the adjoining pipe. To assure product performance and maintain warranty, always apply an approved lubricant. Do not allow lubricated sections of the pipe to touch dirt or other foreign material as joint integrity could be compromised. Now that the pipe is lubricated and aligned, it is ready to be assembled. With the backhoe and sling method, wrap a nylon sling around the center of the pipe and attach the sling to the backhoe bucket. Carefully, pull the spigot squarely into the bell of the receiving pipe. It is important to maintain a low insertion angle less than 1.5 degrees to avoid misalignment. Other installation methods require pushing on the bell end of the pipe being inserted. An installation stub is required for these methods to avoid damage to the bell and to provide a solid point to apply pressure during assembly. Installation stubs can be ordered from your distributor or can be easily fabricated on the job site. To make an installation stub, cut a section of same diameter pipe 5 corrugations long. The pipe should be cut in the center of the valley between corrugations. Once the stub is cut off, Make cross cuts to remove a thin strip of pipe material so the stub will compress to fit inside the bell of the pipe to be inserted. Always be sure to insert the full corrugation end of the stub into the bell. To assemble the pipe, align the pipes and place the installation stub in the bell of the connecting pipe. A board may be necessary to place across the protruding stub to push against. For smaller diameter pipe, Place a pry bar against the board and push the spigot into the receiving bell. For larger diameters, position the backhoe bucket against the board and carefully push the spigot into the receiving bell. Always inspect joints during and following pipe assembly for possible improper alignment, foreign material infiltration, or rolled gaskets. Failure to correct any of these conditions will compromise joint integrity. Sometimes, a pipe must be shortened on the job site. Fabricating pipe in the field is a quick and simple procedure. Begin by cutting the pipe to the desired length. Be aware that 12-inch and larger diameter pipe has a reduced diameter bell and spigot end. One or both of these ends may need to be removed to ensure proper joining of the pipe to a replacement coupler on a fitting. Always cut the pipe in the center of the valley between corrugations. Remove all burrs from the cut edge of the shortened pipe. A replacement coupler, referred to as a bell-bell coupler, comes with a double bell and two gaskets. To join a replacement coupler or fitting on the shortened pipe, clean the first and second corrugations on the pipe. Hold the gasket with the writing facing you. For an over-the-crown or saddle gasket commonly seen on 42-inch and larger sizes, position the gasket over the crown of the first corrugation starting at the bottom and working upward. For a valley gasket, work the gasket into the valley of the first corrugation starting at the bottom pulling up. Once installed, the writing on the gasket should be facing up and out toward the end of the pipe. It is important that the gasket is seated properly. 
failure to do so will compromise joint integrity. Prior to assembly, create a homing mark with a crayon or marker on the pipe. The inside length of the bell on the coupler or fitting should be measured to determine the location for the homing mark on the pipe. The bell of the replacement coupler or fitting should align with the homing mark on the pipe when assembled. Once the gasket is installed on the pipe, clean and lubricate the gasket on the pipe and the bell on the replacement coupler or fitting. Take care to keep lubricated areas from touching dirt or other foreign matter. Always be sure to clear away bedding and backfill around and under the joint area when joining a fitting or replacement coupler to pipe in the trench. Pushing a bell onto a pipe in the trench could easily collect debris if the area is not cleared prior to assembly. Align the pipe with the coupler or fitting. Place an installation stub in the other end of the coupler or fitting and position a board across the protruding stub. Use a pry bar or carefully use the backhoe bucket to push the coupler or fitting onto the pipe. Always inspect the joint during and following assembly for possible improper alignment, foreign matter infiltration, or a rolled gasket. Failure to correct any of these conditions will compromise joint integrity.